Wi-Fi. You might take it for granted, but when you stop and think about it, it's pretty miraculous. It gives us the power to send huge amounts of data through the air. You can actually be watching this video in the middle of a field right now, which, yeah, would be a little bit odd, but isn't it awesome that it's actually possible? So what is Wi-Fi and how does it actually work? Wi-Fi is a type of electromagnetic radiation, part of the gang that includes visible light, radio waves, x-rays and gamma rays. But the good news is, unlike gamma rays, Wi-Fi won't turn you into the Incredible Hulk and it does allow you to check your emails on the toilet. The interesting thing about electromagnetic radiation is that it's kind of like the force from Star Wars. It's essentially pulses of energy through space which affect the things they hit. But, unlike other invisible weirdness like heat, electromagnetic radiation doesn't even need air to travel through. So, the different types of electromagnetic radiation are pretty similar, but what makes them different is the length of their waves, their wavelength. Radio waves are long, like this. Short waves like X-rays look like this, visible light is like this, and Wi-Fi is like this. Wi-Fi's wavelength is about 12 centimetres and it bounces around too little for us to see. But if it was visible, this is what it would look like. Your router emits pulses of signal in a dome 20 to 30 metres across. And this is just one Wi-Fi signal. If we could see all the Wi-Fi in a city, it would look like a massive field of big top circus tents. And if we could see all the electromagnetic radiation at once, well, we wouldn't see anything, everything would just be a blur. But don't worry, Wi-Fi waves are relatively big and it tends to be waves on the nano scale that have the potential to cause damage. So how come I can sometimes get great signal two floors up but none in the room next door? Well, as Wi-Fi travels out from its source, it's affected by the objects it encounters, be that concrete, wood or other Wi-Fi. Also, if there are a lot of Wi-Fi signals near you, parts of your signal could be delayed by them bumping into those, making your pages load in a more jittery way. Interestingly, you can actually buy Wi-Fi paint which blocks other signals from interfering with your Wi-Fi signal. So, you've protected your Wi-Fi signal and it's coming through strong, but what is it actually carrying? How does Wi-Fi actually work? Simply put, Wi-Fi is essentially just carrying a set of instructions which tell your computer what to do to each pixel on your screen. The instructions are turned into a code which only needs two different modes, on and off. So, for example, a code might be this for A, or this for B, or this for C, and so on. So, to transmit, say, this picture of a dog, you need a huge amount of on-off signals, and for a video, even more. Luckily for us, electromagnetic radiation travels at the speed of light, so even something really complex like this dog video can be transmitted super quickly. Those two different states, the on and off, can be coded into the wave in a lot of ways. For Wi-Fi, each sent signal has a six-digit code, and a change in height and the starting place of the wave determines whether the digit is on or off between gaps of no signal. So, wiggle one might be off, wiggle two might be on, wiggle pattern three might be A, etc. Plus, the gaps between the pulses separate the wave symbols, just like spaces between words, meaning really complicated instructions can be sent with ease, read by your computer, and understood. Now, underneath that protective layer is where it gets interesting. There are two layers that are covered in electrodes that are thinner than a human hair.